We're back, people, and today we're breaking down film on Jordan Morgan, Arizona left tackle for the 2024 NFL Draft. And to me, he's a first-round pick. Uh, teams apparently view him at the NFL level. A lot of the teams view him as a guard, which I do think he could be a very effective guard at the next level. I also think he can still play tackle, really like nimble, light on his feet, recovery ability, really impressive. Has pretty some pretty good play strength and anchor to hold up against some power as well. Uh, did a great job for some top-tier pass rushers in the Pac-12. Really like to see him out there. Love his physical gifts. Uh, Well-built. He's patient in pass protection. He has a really good understanding in pass pro, like what uh, defenders are trying to do. He recognizes plans very well. Knows how to use his, uh, use his hands to counter things, things like that. In the running game, I would like to see him, you know, create more movement, be more of a finisher, sustain his blocks. I do think, you know, that's a little bit of a negative his game at time as the run blocker. But he does do a good job of like making adjustments, uh, getting out laterally. He can do some good stuff in some like zone blocking schemes when he gets out in space. But yeah, really enjoy watching him in pass pro, like recognize these plans, making adjustments very quickly. He has a really good job versus those like outside moves, whether they're trying to win with like rips or even use like ghost moves, things like that. Morgan just really has a great plan for all of that stuff. Um, he's balanced getting um, into, you know, his kick step, uh, kick slide. And he just stays under control, good hands. Sees what, you know, this edge defender trying to do here, uh, who's Braylon Trice, who's also, you know, a pretty good player in this class. Tries to set this up, trying to get that, like, ghost move to the outside, really rip underneath with showing this, like, high hand, like he might um, try to cross chop to the outside here. But Morgan just goes low with his hands to avoid that stuff and then gets quickly bat up to refit within this edge rusher right there. That's just really good stuff. Patient really under controlled i love guys who just play with a, he plays with a good base he plays with a good balance doesn't panic anything like that he's just a really controlled uh pass protector so i really really enjoy watching him in pass pro and i feel like his play can easily translate to guard so i do understand why teams are moving him to guard i feel like he could be even better at guard at the next level um you know sometimes if you're a player that can play both tackle and guard you can get you get a little more help a little more protection on the inside so and he's a player that i feel like can hold up with in there physically because um i don't think you know it's going to change too much when it comes to like finishing and sustaining blocks whether he's on the edge or um in the interior because those things you know he has to work on either way but he does a good job again just winning the outside it's out of his stance really um controlled i think you know he bends at the waist a little bit too much at times but i mean he makes up for it with this athleticism has this right hand right here the drag hand just in case you know this guy works to his side he can pick up twists and stunts recognize all that stuff Guy tries to win to the outside again, working a little bit of a ghost move. He just recognizes it, gets out of there, just becomes an athlete. You know, he sees what's going on, sees that he's trying to do this. He gets low with his hands again. He, like, gives up his chest because he even recognizes what the move is going to be from Trice. So you can tell that he, like, watches the film, understands that, and then just carries the guy past the quarterback again. He's very comfortable out there, very light on his feet type of player. I love offensive linemen that have really, really good feet. Uh, Jordan Morgan to me should be a first round lock like uh, to me if you miss out on a player like Fatanu and maybe a Graham Bard and I feel like Morgan is that next type of player for me he played left tackle in college that can be a high level guard at the next level that you should be trying to get on like the back end of the first round Morgan has a lot of things to like about his game really really love how gifted of a mover he is I like watching guys in uh, pass protection that are really gifted movers but then also you know clearly play with a high like mental side and technical side of the game which Morgan does a really good job on just so many times where he just makes these guys miss with their hand he tries to hit that cross job to the outside swipe that down and he just avoids it with his hands again boom and then he quickly gets back into it just recognizing what's going to go on like if you try to do this with your hands you know you're going to give up your chest guys can make adjustments they work some speed to power but Morgan just does it at the perfect time avoiding the you know the the chops the ghost moves the rips whatever it is and then he gets back in position. Love the recovery ability because he gets like, once he avoids, he gets a little like over the top here. Maybe he gives it back a little bit too much space to the inside. But he's able to hold his ground, recover, be in a nice spot. Morgan, really talented. Um, good rep here versus Latu. He had a pretty good, uh, he didn't go against Latu too much in this game. And to me, Latu is the best edge rusher in this class. He only had like a few reps against each other. Um, but he looked pretty solid in those reps. I think, you know, Latu might have got a better of him on one. But Morgan just... Carrying him around the edge. Really good job. Recognizing the move there. Comes out with his hand. Shows that left hand. Because he has this right hand drag handing, right? He shows this left hand like, hey, 
uh, basically baiting the moves from Latu. Like, I'm showing you this hand. You want to beat me to the outside anyways. He knows that move. He's not oversetting. Good base. Tries to hit that. Um, also, this is like one of Latu's signature moves, you know, hitting, you know, that that like crossover, uh, cross chop type move. And he's waiting for it. Boom, avoids it, then gets both hands into him and then just carries him around, finishes him to the ground, which is nice to see. Really high level work from Morgan. You can tell he's technically advanced, understands the nuance of the game of how to use your hands, what the edge rusher is trying to do, and just winning. Uh, like to see him hold up at the point of attack too. Some good uh, anchor versus these UCLA edges. Good job uh, with the refitting of your hands here. Like he gets a little high. This hand's like on the back of his shoulder so you can see better placement. But then once, you know, he gets slightly pushed back a little bit, boom, he resets that hand. Get it into that armpit back in your spot and you now you just anchor, hold them. Don't allow them to push that pocket in. Really good job for Morgan. These are the types of plays like where, you know, you might get caught off balance. That show me that he can play on the interior and be just fine with his athleticism and anchor. I feel like he could be, he's going to be, if he plays guard at the next level, he's going to be a really good pass protector at guard. Still needs to work on some of the running game stuff. You will see some of those plays as these go on, but just the pass protection is really good. This one is a fun rub because he doesn't like explode out of his stance this time. You know, he's not doing his typical slide, uh, you know, different types of pass sets. He's uh, really looking to the inside, see if there's help. He's not, when he got lined up before, like he didn't show for any respect, I'll be honest. Like he showed Murphy in Law 2 respect. When he got him, he just instantly stonewalled him right away, just held him up at the point of attack. Really didn't have to do anything crazy athletically or um even try to play a game with his hands. He just instantly had a game with two and mirrored and matched him and uh, completely stopped that right away. Pretty decent work here. Um, that shows me that he can do some stuff on the interior where, you know, you work the combo, you attack the low hip. Would Maybe you want to see him play with a little lower pad level here to attack the low hip, but he helps his guy get control, or, I mean, the guy kind of loses control. But he helps uh, at least create the space, but he kind of, you know, the guard just loses his balance and loses the rep. But he attacks the low hip to create some movement and then climbs the second level to cut off 20 the linebacker so it's nice to see you know him at least work a combo and climb i would just like to see his guard win a little more uh on his battle because he lost that and that's where like he could do a little bit better he has the inconsistent pad level and leverage at time in the running game where you got to be a just a little bit lower in that low hip and you can really move this guy out of the way and that would really help out your guard but he does do a good job of at least after that uh taking a good angle finally get the second level he has those athletic traits uh so there's some positives to find from there but also some negatives within that type of play he does another job where it, like he just makes a quick adjustment he's they're working outside zone to his he's the play side of this he wants to you know capture this edge but this guy tries to knife to the inside uh seeing you know the space open up and morgan just makes a quick adjustment this is how he wins within the running game he just makes good adjustments on the fly which you got to be able to do because things don't always get blocked up perfectly and just you know work the defender with what they're giving you he works the inside kind of gets hooked around here like almost holds him but instead of really holding he just stays with his positioning and just cuts him off because he doesn't end up holding with his hands he just kind of gets hooked with his arm around him uh really good job not like over exaggerating a hold there too quick adjustment instead of you know going out to block him on the edge he knifes the inside so now i'm just gonna boom hold up and basically set this edge and now you're running back can easily get around to the edge there uh angles leverage it's just about positioning at times you don't always need to be destroying blockers in the running game moving them down the field that's uh, always effective another good rep on the edge he's just so good at avoiding this stuff with his hands the inside drag hand with his right show the left hand basically flash that bait um see that he understood versus ucla these guys love to hit that outside cross drop try to hit that move and when he went against washington he knew they try to like hit those cross up and the ghost move to the outside. Once they do that, avoid that. And then boom, get your left hand out there. And now just become, when you're in this spot, just become an athlete. Drive him out of the way. Clearly shows off the nimble feet. Good hands, nuanced hands. Wins his rep very easily. Law 2 ends up winning on the other side. But just does a good job in pass protection. And it's just play after play he's doing it. They're trying to give him the same move. The cross jump it in. He just avoids it with his hands. And then instantly gets it back up within the chest after they avoid just very quick precise accurate with his hands love seeing that type of play and this stuff shows up all over the film as you're seeing like he did it like literally 10 times in one single game so that's a lot uh because you're not facing cross chops that often but then when he goes against number four he's not even worried about the cross chops at all 
he doesn't get into those like 45 degree steps or you know those vertical sets he basically just gets on him right away jump setting uh, attack which he can also do uh, good base good bend he's just under control gets hands uh, with good placement high hand low hand just plays with doesn't play with independent hands here but he definitely can play with independent hands which is a big thing being able to play with you know two hands one hands whatever it is but just winning at the point of attack and all those different ways um, here's another decent rep versus Latu where Latu works the inside tries to give him a bunch of different moves and he does a better job getting engaged this time and he can just tell fr since Latu attacks so far to the inside and he has this tie down on his outside half and with a running back to his side that Latu is less likely to really try to hit that cross chop just based on his positioning his leverage here the timing of it all he's not going to hit his signature uh, like euro step type move um, so he just gets engaged with him early and uh, Latu isn't able to really get to exactly what he wants. So Morgan making adjustments on the fly, which is important. Instead of doing what he has been doing, he just sees that Latu gets really close to him this time, and boom, just gets both their hands on, really work him around the arc there, uh, re-engage, uh, reset, really good stuff, staying under control. Love the balance. Love that he stays on his feet a lot too. Really like athletic playmakers. And to me, Morgan is one of my, like, after Fatanu and Barden, I would feel like I think Morgan would be my third guard in this class. And then if you wanted to take him and be your tackle the next level, I, I like him better than some of the guys even going that are projected to go in front of him or like around that range. I feel like after like the top five tackles, I would be comfortable taking Morgan at, toward the end because I think a lot of those tackles, like, you know, all Latham, Fashanu, um, Amarius Mims, players like that, they're all, um, I probably missed someone. Oh yeah, Fuanga from Morgan State. Those five guys. I feel like after that, Morgan could easily be the next tackle to go, even before like a guy in, um, I would take him before a guy, and I think guy will end up going before him, but I think Morgan should sneak into the background if he doesn't. Teams are going to get an absolute steal because you're getting a quality left tackle or a guy who could potentially be like a Pro Bowl level guard at the next level with his ability and pass protection, really good athlete, gifted athlete, and just understands the game at a technical level, which is always very, very important for an offensive lineman. So you guys are the video. Make sure that comment, subscribe, and subscribe.